talking about uh, manual downriggers. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about it. Of course you got your rod holder. Uh, mine is on a swivel base. You pull that out and it lets you maneuver it. I have uh, 10 pound balls. Uh, just a regular old cannon cannonball. I like a heavy ball so I don't get too much kickback uh, when I'm trolling along. Again trolling speed is uh, 2.5 to 3.5 miles an hour. Uh, I like a Roamer release clip. That's the brand name, Roamer. Uh, it attaches to your line fairly easy. It has a little device here to lock it on the line. It has a handle right here which allows the downrigger to go down. If you crank the handle counterclockwise, it releases the drag and allows the downrigger to go down. As you can see, it has a line counter. And when you crank it, it'll tighten the drag back up and it will pull the weight in. I always set my line counter to be zeroed right where my release clip is, not where my weight is, so that way you have a better feel where your bait's running rather than your ball. Okay. Okay, we're going to put out some downriggers. First thing we're going to do is let the bait out. And let it out about 100 feet. I've got line counters. I'm a firm believer in line counters. I like to get mine out about 100 feet away from the boat and ball just so in case the fish are spooky. They don't associate the bait with the boat. Those, while you're letting it out, grab your line so you have it in your hand, put the rod in the holder, we're going to put it in the clip, and again to put it in the clip you put a loop around it, you stick it in the jaw, lock the jaw down, take the doubled line, and wrap it around the release mechanism. Take your reel out of gear, make sure your clicker's on, and you can slowly lower the ball while keeping tension on the rod with your finger. Okay, right now we're at 23 feet, and the, the weight's actually a little bit deeper, but the weight's up to 23. You want a good bow in your rod so when the fish snaps out of the release clip, the line will tighten up and take the slack out of it. This is a two ounce MacFar chipmunk jig uh, with a tsunami swim bait. I like the tsunami baits because they have flash in them. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but molded inside of the bait is some flash. And I'm a big believer in flash, noise, light, anything to help attract a fish. button on. Um. 